Hello viewers, how are you? Hope you are fine. Welcome back to my channel, Drawing Time with you Story. If you are new in my channel, I will introduce myself and my channel with you. I am Suraya Parvin and in my channel, I select an object or a thing to draw or paint and while drawing a painting, you will not get bored. Why? Because I will narrate you a story or deliver you some information or simply gossip with you just related to the topic I select. So as you saw my today's theme was a romantic dinner theme. So I hope you will uh, both enjoy the story and the painting. And one thing don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay connected with me to stay connected with drawing time with the story. And now it's the story time. And my today's story's name is The Dinner Dead and it was written by Dana Strang. The story started this way that he leads her to a small table in a quiet restaurant. A late hour for dinner. Most of the tables are empty. He pulls out her chair. She sits. He sits across from her. The only light is from a few well-placed candles. A waiter approaches and without saying a word pours them wine and leaves the bottle. No menus. He has ordered for them in advance. There will be no interruptions from wait staff aside from the bringing and cleaning the courses. He watches as she sips the wine. She notices blushes. A shy smile slips out. He loves watching her. She kept looking into a secret world. He smiles warmly back as if to comfort her. It does. She begins to enjoy his gaze, sucking it in, feeling his eyes move on her. From her eyes to her nose, cheeks, lips, the curve of her neck, slope of her shoulders, her chest, the tiny bit of cleavage just peeking out from her dress. Again, she blushes. This time, so does he. Back to sipping wine. They lock eyes across the table. Everything around them fits away. There are a universe all their own. Lost in the depths of each other's eyes, she can feel his desires, he hers, but it is not lustful, calm, gentle, controlled, with a sense of longing to escape forever into that universe around them. They barely notice the waiter as he places the first course between them, a simple plate of fruit and cheese. He watches her as she, as she eats, calmly bringing each morsel to her lips. He marvels at the pleasure she takes from each bite, her face amazingly expressive, every bite as she if distasting for the first time. She gazes at him over her glass as she sips her wine. She knows he is watching her. She slips a grave between her lips, smiles coyly as her teeth crushes the skin, exploiting the juices into her mouth. She reaches for a strawberry. He deliberately snatches it just as her fingertip touches the ripened fruit. He grins as he takes a large bite. She offers her most convincing pout. He smiles affectionately and fills her the rest. Her eyes smile back at him. They continue on, refilling the wine glasses and eating slowly, just enough to keep the wine from going to their heads. They don't speak. Time stands still, stopping just for them. An eternity to enjoy each other's company. He watching her, she being worst. Anyone could see the energy between them. It can be felt. Something surreal is happening at the table.
to them it's completely natural existing at that moment in their own universe the tina plays arrive they share each other meals he's rich and heavy her slider bold they eat slowly but heartily sipping wine throughout suffering the unique yet complementary flavors they eat in silence feasting of his other strokes until hardly anything is left their meals devoured their bellies growing heavy their appetites merely saturated a single desire to share a single spoon he feeds her a small bite creamy and rich she can't help but a smile with pleasure at the sweetness her innocent pleasure makes its way across the tiny table straight into his heart how can he help but love her he takes a large bite with the enthusiasm of a child she loves quietly at his playfulness another bite for her larger than the first something is left on her lips he planned that of course she knows it he reaches towards her before she can raise her napkin but his reach is not for her lips he puts his hand softly on her neck and leans toward her she leans toward him he kisses her softly tasting the sweetness of the desert mixed with the sweetness of her everything around them fades away they in their own universe time stands still both of them were very happy it was expressive the eyes expresses them in the sparkle in their eyes brown and gleams of gold that is not the candlelight reflecting is coming from within as his eyes large calm dark soaking in her light like a black hole keeping it all for himself he rises from the table and steps over to her holds out his hand she takes him hand and rises letting him lead her away no need to settle a check it has been taken care of they cross the room to the open door it leads to a small patio tables empty for the night the air is still warm the clear sky speckled with stars the moon nearly full lights the path ahead of them he takes her arm in his and they walk the moon lightening their way the path ends at a sandy area by the shore of the lake a small beach constructed by the resort to give patrons a place to relax in the comfort of combed sand and lounge chairs there is a small area roped off for swimmers cleared free of rocks and weeds several rowboats are tied to the dock their oars locked away to prevent irresponsible parties from taking them out at night they stop at the edge of the sand before she can do it herself he kneels down and unbuckles her shoes slips them off her feet and places them near a chair she steps onto the sand soft and smooth she smiles and squishes it between her toes there is that childlike innocence again he watches her thinking it that innocence he knows where she is going next that is why he brought her here she lets out a giggle as the water touches her feet it's cold almost numbing but she doesn't care she can't resist the temptation to feel the water on her feet the night is still the lake like glass except for the child like women splashing and exploring in the shallows before him she turns and looks back at him standing on the beach she cocks her head as if to dare him to come in after her he grins and shakes his head not this time 
she is staying safely on dry land or she or so he thinks she kicks a stream of water towards him barely misses soaking his dry clothes he wasn't expecting that though he should have been he knows her well enough he was distracted caught up in the moment the look of shock of his face lets her know he was caught off guard she tilts her head back and laughs the love of a confident woman that is no innocent child standing in the lake before him at that moment he falls in love with her a little more wondering how that is possible when this love is already overflowing but with her solitary play she rejoins him on the sand puts her hands around his neck and they were enjoying every moment amused at their youthful enthusiasm she takes his hand and starts walking to the dock she is radiant and he is captivated at that moment he would follow her to the ends of the earth he nearly does he she leads him to the very end of the dock toes hanging over the edge the shore and dock are out of view all that can be seen before them is water smooth as glass reflecting the moonlight it is as if they are standing on the lake or hovering over it no dock beneath them or shore behind them she titters just a little and grabs his jacket to steady herself he puts his arm around her a little unsteady as well they smiling at their clumsiness they sit for a while at the end of the dock she wants to put her toes in water and it is just out of reach she gives that adorable pout and rests her head on his shoulder instead letting out a sigh she is finally relaxed resting against him enjoying the beauty of the lake the stillness of the night silence except the except for the quiet splash of an occasional fish and the singing of the summer insects and the beating of their hearts so how was the painting and the story today hope it was a very enjoyable story for you and the scenery was um what will i say it was i so think too so let me know in my comment section how you feel about my this painting so i will wait for your reviews your comments are really inspired for me and please don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay connected with me Stay safe. Bye.